Right, here we go. Vlog time. Yes, I've had a haircut. Time to get the boot polish out, I think, though. Um, I'm not joking either. I am a vain man. Anybody at this size uh, with this taste in clothes has to be vain. Um, right. Raids low. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Work's over. The weekend has begun. All is good in the world. Uh, I have had a busy week. Busy week. Um, I've not done much in the way of my reviewing career. It has suffered this week. I did get a review up for the MGNT, the Magnet. I'm not going to lie to you. Somebody actually posted on Facebook or something saying that they know it's called the MGNT but they keep calling it the Magnet because it refers to the top cap. I never actually made the connection. Well, there's a joke in itself. Uh, no, I never made the connection that that's why it was called the MGNT, which is quite embarrassing. Uh, anyway, um, so I reviewed that and the Omni. Uh, I really liked both of them. I really liked both of them, even though they're not my kind of thing. And, and that's the thing. Um, I tend to do reviews that are more in my comfort zone, but these days... Yeah, I do have, do I have to, I don't have to review stuff that I wouldn't vape myself, but I sometimes worry that because, uh, I'm coming from a certain where I like to vape, and when I review something that's aimed at somebody else, am I necessarily the best person to give you a viewpoint on it? I, I don't know. I'll give you my humble opinion, as always, but um, I don't know. Maybe I should stick to reviewing mouth to what, mouth to what, mouth to lung tanks and um, mods that only go up to 15 watts. Maybe that's my, that's my path going forward. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, however, this week, oh, this arrived. The Bratto. Uh, this is by Bratis uh, Wayne. Uh, and this is a, a mechanical, well, not a mechanical, this is a squonker, but it does have a, a MOSFET in there as well. That's just held on my magnets. Um, that is a, a new brass slam cap for my Narda, and that's an Odis drip tip. And this has not left my hand at all since it arrived. It just absolutely this. Uh, I, I, yeah, he, he's completely knocked it out of the park with this one. Now, here we go. I'll, I'll just, um, obviously I've only been using it for a couple of days and this is my humble opinion at this moment in time. I think it is it's, it's just beautiful. I, I think it's just gorgeous. Um, I also, when I first arrived and I saw the pictures, I was concerned about the recess for the squonk bottle. Uh, but this is a right-handed one. You can, if you order one, you can get the button put in the other side. But I find it really comfortable as a thumb firer. And I just poke my finger in there, squonk, and job done. Uh, and it just... It's dead easy to squonk. It's really comfortable to squonk with. Now, it's not small. It's not... Franken skull and and little mech squonk or small, um, it is a bit, It's a beefy bugger. Um, it is a beefy bugger. The what was I going to show you against? Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, what can I show you against? There's the. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, there we go for comparison. There's an eighteen six fifty battery, so that gives you an idea of the size. So yeah, it's not the smallest mod under the sun. However, I will say that for me, it is the perfect size for thumb here, squonk here, and away you go. Just like that. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Very. I will do a review, and I'm sorry, but I, I, I probably will gush rather a lot about this one. It's so, so nice. 
<laughs> it's so nice. Anyway, um, moving on, moving on. This week, I also did receive from Wotofo their new RDTA. Uh, I shall be doing a giveaway. You just have to guess the name of this tank. Um, it's it's no, you won't. It's called the Serpent. Um, so it's an RDTA, barable, and there you go, Serpent. This is it on the the Vape Droid. Um, I'll show you the deck. And there you go, single coil. It's got clamps, kind of like the Hadley, uh, going on there. Very easy to build on. Just you know, fill up your just there through those two holes. And there's your airflow there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of RDTAs, and I I do think I mean, hang on, let let's just from the coil to the tank, you are looking at. Let's just say that's about that. You're looking about nine point five mil. For, that's how far the juice has to travel, travel up that cotton to get to the coil. Now I've tried lots of cotton, hardly any cotton, um, right in the tank, uh, just touching the tank, but either way um, I, I do find that this is a throwback to what was it used to call auto drippers. Um, you really do have to tilt when you vape. It's going back to the old Genesis days. You have to tilt and vape this. And I, I'm kind of past that. I think maybe it's just because I like drippers and RTAs. Um, but it, it vapes really well. But for high wattage vapors, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, the airflow is, and you get um, that drip tip with it, but you also get a big beefy drip tip as well. If you're an RDTA fan, you'll probably love it. Um, but for me, it's just not. Uh, it's not my cup of tea, um, shall we say? Speaking of not my cup of tea, but loving it, the little drizzle. Uh, I think I mentioned this to you last week. I bought this from work. I'm so enjoying this. I really am. I'm having great fun with it. Um, it's just a, a one point. I think is it one point eight mil. Yeah, it's a one point eight mil little five ten tank and a thousand milliamp battery, and it's given me a nice mouth to lung little vape. It's it's handling an ATVG no problem. That's actually a very restricted lung hit I'm doing with that. That's not a mouth a mouth to lung, but you can shut it right down and do a proper mouth to lung. Lung hit, mouth to lung. Been a long week, very long week. Uh, so that's that's one of these. Twenty five pound. Uh, did I mention this last week? <laughs> I did. I talked about this last week about how ego pens and stuff like that have gone the way of the dodo because when you've got stuff like this it's the old CE5s and so on are just there's no comparison there really isn't also I did get I did get from now Dean uh, from Coil Vapes uh, whose juice has actually become uh, it's um, I still use Goose juice in a brand new tank, because goose juice is is my measure of how good a tank is. Because I've been vaping it for so long, uh, when I put it in a new tank, it you know there's the it, it sets the bar, so I know what I should be getting. Um, but the this one and this two. That's my second bottle in this one, this is my second bottle in this as well. Uh, I'm fair rattling through this and really enjoying it and it's really good in that. But however, when Dean sent on these, he also, I think he's mates with or he knows the guy that owns um, Fix, uh, that makes this Fix by MLV. It's, you know, another one of these pod systems. Yeah, doink. 
goes in there like that. Oh my, this is uh, 50 milligram, 50. Um, now, I don't know by my own admission how this works with the percentages in relation to, <coughs> excuse me, it's, it's nicotine salts. I, I don't know anything about that. I really don't. Hold my hands up. Uh, but it's still rated as 50 or 5%. Now, you do not get the throat hit that you would expect, um, and I think that's to do with the nicotine salts or the solution, uh, but I, I don't know how they'll sell this or, the, or if they'll be able to sell these in the UK come TPD because it is over 20 milligram, so the, you can't. I don't know if, you know, trading standards are going to know the difference between Oh, but it's not a true 5% or 50 milligram because it's got salts in it. They're going to go, well, no, the percentage in the bottle states 5%, so it's not going to happen. I don't... <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't have the throat hit you would expect, but... And I better be careful here. Right, that's it brined. You, you don't... This thing... That's me just taking two or three drags out of this and that's me done. I will put this down now and I do. I will not feel the need to have another vape for 40 minutes, an hour. Because that, I can feel my head. This, this just sets me off. This gets me buzzing. Uh, like I said, the throat hit's not there. But the, the, oh man, the nicotine hit from it is incredible. Um, if you were to hand this to uh, and somebody that smokes, I think they would love this. But somebody that's already vaping, nah, it's not for them. No way is it for them. I personally, as somebody who vapes, I prefer the bow because of the, the nicotine content. Um, but... I can see where there is a market for this. I can see where there is a market. It's not my kind of thing. And all the flavours that I got sent on are all tobacco based. Even the ice mint, the butterscotch and so on. They still have that tobacco thing going on with them. Uh, I would have preferred to have had a pure butterscotch or a pure mint rather than mint tobacco. Uh, but yeah. It's quite well made as well. It's quite well made. Um, I, all, I also did get... I did also get, I just lose it, um, Eddie from Darwin Mods, the wonderful Eddie. Um, now, I don't know if you've met, if you've watched any of my reviews of Darwin Mods stuff, uh, you'll recognise this, because this is a dual 18650 carrier. Uh, you know, you would separate in half here, and you would dump two 18650 batteries in it and carry them about. Somebody on his group converted one to a squonker, so Eddie's gone, taking it a step further, and he's put some prototypes out to some people. Uh, I know Dean. Um, Dean, whose subscription count is getting very high. Please, if you're subscribed to Dean the Vaping Biker, unsubscribe, because he's getting to the point where he's catching up awfully quick, and it bothers me. <laughs> Just Listen, the day that Dean overtakes me which will not be long away on subscribers I will be there cheering them on because he does good work um, he got one Rick from modmaker.co.uk got one as well uh, and a few other guys got them Johnny Babelis Babelis can't remember his name now um, right I'm waffling we all got one and, uh, and, and basically you you know so you've got a little squonk bottle there and you've got your there as well and that just fits in there Boink, like that and up the top you've got um, an FDV I think that's a Fat Daddy Vape one uh, Supreme Edition is it and there's your fire and switch just push that down and it makes contact and yeah now there's a few little niggles with it which most people I think all picked up on and fed back to Eddie and he's already going off and producing another batch of prototypes that are addressing the faults that were found. 
which is, is most awesome. But Eddie's just a he's a good lad. He's a good lad. He knows his stuff. Uh, so these shall be coming soon from Darwin Mods. It's fun. It's a fun little squonking device. Uh, it's fun. Um, oh, speaking of mouth to lung, I'm still puffing away with this. I'm still enjoying using the the Nautilus 2. I don't think there's any shame to this at all. Yeah, it's 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 got that classic BVC Aspire BVC taste that you just can't get away from. Uh, the mod I'll get round to doing a review as well. Uh, I have other stuff coming in for review, not a lot, but I have some other stuff coming in to review. Um, that's all I've really got for you today. I'm sorry that it's so short. Um, I might struggle to get stuff out next week. Um, the company I work for, The Vapor Lounge, uh, free plug, uh, we're opening up a shop in Dundee next Thursday. So I'll probably be up in Dundee most of the week working there. So by the time I get home at night and... Sorry. But I'll, I'll try and get a couple of reviews done this weekend anyway. I'll try my best. Uh, other reviews that I've been watching, I've not watched a lot. Uh, I was just then checking my subscriptions there and... I really haven't watched much at all. Um, <gasps> awesome! Best part of a Friday when you finish work is Fail Army, put up a video. I have to I, see when you've had a shit week at work, YouTube Fail Army on a Friday night just makes me laugh. Uh, I know that's kind of sad. Um, what else have I watched? Uh, the Ideal Home Show, I watched most of it, not all of it. And I must apologise for last week when I was a co-host and I got rather drunk. I got incredibly drunk actually uh, on Polish vodka and I don't actually remember most of the show and I, I think I got a bee in my bonnet about some things and uh, I might have come across as a bit of a dick more than normal. Uh, so I apologise for that and to anybody that I offended. Um, uh, what else? I watched Dean's video on the Doge tank, which was quite interesting because it was a different viewpoint to mine. You know, he's more in the cloudy area. So, it's it's quite funny because he wasn't a huge fan of the tank necessarily, whereas I am, as an RTA, I really enjoy it. Um, I really like it as an RTA. I don't use the stock coils. Um, that's not my kind of thing. But if I want to go cloudy. Um, this has become a bit of a firm favourite of mine, which is strange, but I enjoyed Dean's review. Um, also, I I should really watch Vaping V1CK's video of the Evic Primo, because we're selling them at work. Um, and I didn't even watch Plumes. Uh, the Minikin V2 Kodama, Suck My Mod, Matt put up a video. I should point out on that one, I did put in the description when I uploaded that to say that I was aware that some people have had issues. I can only review what I have. The one I had, no faults with it whatsoever. Not a problem. Mine's was great. Um, so, so just because some people have had an issue doesn't mean that I'm going to slag something off. I can only review what I have in my hand. There we go. Uh, what else have I been watching? Um, oh, we started watching a program called Scandal. Um, it's been out since about 2012, I think. One of Karen's pals mentioned it. So we started watching, we binged on it. It's been great. Really enjoyed it, uh, or enjoying it. Expanse is awesome. Sci-fi series, that's really, really good. The new season's brilliant. Um, Assassin's Creed. Utter, utter garbage. Just don't waste your time with it. You will, it's just a waste of two hours of your time. Utter crap. Um, and, and and that's all I've got for you. Is it? I think it is. Right. I'm going away to, to, to pester other people. And I'm sure there's stuff, I'm sure, do you know, there's, there's drama happening in the vape world all the time. People getting upset over stuff, and 
I, you don't need my viewpoint on it because it's just drama and it doesn't accomplish anything. Um, guys, have a most excellent weekend. Most excellent. Bill and Ted. John Wick 2. I really want to watch that. Um, and I'm going off on a tangent again. I'm going to bugger off. I'm just pissing you off now. Guys, take care. We'll catch you soon.